Good morning, Braxters! Okay, so you're probably wondering why I'm outside and it's morning time. <laughs> um, they're actually working on my parents' house this morning and I think they're doing something with the porch, but they've got a lot of different trucks and stuff up in their driveway, but it's also in my driveway, so I cannot get my car out. And me and Braxton had planned on going to get diapers today and dog food, but we can't get the car out. So we were walking to my grandmother's house because luckily I leave a lot of diapers up there because we go visit her so much. But it's not like they won't move their car. I'm sure if, you know, I went up there and asked them to move, they would. But I just don't want to bother them when they're working and everything. Hey, look how cute I am today. Yeah. yeah. So I got my tennis shoes and my dinosaur shirt and my dinosaur hat. All the clothes that he has on right now are actually on the clothing haul that I'm going to post here in a little bit. So if you're watching this video and you haven't watched the clothing haul yet, I will leave a link in the description below. I got him so much stuff. Okay guys, so we are back from my grandparents' house. We got the diapers, so that's good. Um, I just fed Braxton lunch. He's trying to watch cartoons on my laptop. I told him no more cartoons, so I put it up on the table and I, and I went to fix me something to drink. <laughs> And he was standing by the table dancing. Hey, where's your shirt? Where's your belly? You said you need a belly. Show him your belly. Is that your little belly? Is that your belly? I took his shirt off before he ate because I didn't feel like him getting ketchup all over it and staining it already since it's the first time he's wore it. Now I. And, oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, this is his new thing, pulling you when he wants something. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Oh, I didn't tell you guys, when Kenny gets off work, we are actually going to the pumpkin patch. I'm so excited, and I'm trying to figure out what I want us to wear because I know I'll be taking <coughs> I know I'll be taking a bazillion pictures. I know I'll be taking like a bazillion. Is this real life? <laughs> I know I'll be taking like a bazillion pictures and I want our outfits to kind of coordinate, but I also want Braxton to be really comfortable because I want him to be able to enjoy himself. So I've just got to decide what I want us to wear. Yeah. Kenny is home. So I I've decided that I'm just gonna quit announcing at the beginning of the vlogs what we're doing the rest of the day because nine times out of ten we don't end up doing what I said we were gonna do but this time the reason why we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing is because of this right here we originally were gonna go to the pumpkin patch tomorrow anyways but Kenny uh, called me on his break and said let's go today so I assumed that he had already looked up what time that they were open and all kind of stuff but since it's like the later in the day they start like kind of like the adultish pumpkin patch where like people are dressed up in costumes and I just don't think he'll have fun doing that and I don't want to scare him so hopefully we're gonna go tomorrow which works out better anyways because my parents will go too and he'll be able to actually play on the playground and you know all kind of stuff so it works out better anyways but he's still in trouble <laughs> i'm just kidding and if anyone is wondering how his um gum is feeling it actually doesn't hurt does it yeah he said it doesn't hurt at all anymore so i guess he should have just pulled it with tweezers sooner so we ended up coming to the mall and we're not supposed to be spending any money so this is a horrible place to come but this is where we ended up it's all your fault say hey and of course he brought his dinosaur because we don't go anywhere without it what do you see what do you see Does he like it or not like it?
just came to the arcade for Braxton. <laughs> what have we done since we've been here? <laughs> this. <laughs> well, I mean, we've ate and he put, Braxton played on the playground and we've been letting him ride these little rides. Right? Yeah. So anyways, we just made it a fun outing for Braxton. We've just been letting him do everything and we rode the train. Okay, so we finally made it home from the mall and we went to a couple other stores. Kenny is in bed. He actually he actually has to be at work tomorrow at like 4 o'clock in the morning, so he had to go to bed. And Braxton is just running around playing and I'm trying to keep him semi-quiet so he doesn't wake up Kenny. Are you going to push it? Are you going to push it down the ramp? Whoa! Show them how you can walk down it. Really slow. Concentrate. Concentrate. Come on. You can do it. Yay. Also, this might be a little TMI, but I'm trying to just be very honest on my channel and very blunt and just kind of let, I want my life to be kind of transparent. Um, because there might be some people that can relate to what we're going through and stuff like that. But um, Braxton is obviously, he doesn't nurse that much anymore. He's pretty much weaning himself off. Um, and I'm glad that he's kind of doing it on his own because I can just imagine how hard it would be trying to make him quit. But, you know, thankfully he's slowing down, you know, naturally. And my breasts hurt so bad because they get so full and it's like I don't even know how to explain it like I was trying to explain it to Kenny like they get so sore and then I just feel like if I bump into something or if Braxton accidentally hits them like they just hurt so bad so if anybody has any um, advice on what to do when you start breastfeeding to where your breasts don't hurt all the time like I am more than willing to take your advice like I appreciate um, advice so if you have any that'd be awesome.